Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Yorkie Three Stripe. Um, it's been a few weeks since I did a video, so my apologies. Um, in my defence, it's been my birthday and I went away. So I've been celebrating that. Uh, maybe a bit too long, but I'm back in the world, normal world now. And uh, in that time, I have actually treated myself, because it was my birthday, to one or two grill uh, pieces. Not all spezial. Um, <coughs> one of them is... Sorry, two of them are, <coughs> excuse me, uh, but one of them isn't. And that's what I'm going to review today. I got these a couple of weeks ago. Um, I did a little, no, I didn't do a little teaser on these on my short videos. I did it on some of the others. Now, these don't really need much introduction. If you're a fan of Adidas and you're a fan of any vintage trainer, um, these won't need any introduction. They are, of course, the, the TRX. Um... These were released in 2009, so what, we're coming up 15 years now for these. Um, now, I've had a pair of these before. Um, in fact, I've had a brand new pair, which I just couldn't pop the tags. I just couldn't do it. Uh, I couldn't justify it for what I'd paid for them, and I got my money back, so off they went. Um, I got another pair, maybe not long after, to wear. Unfortunately, what is notorious with the TRX is the soles. The lower sole is very temperamental, let's say, and over time it's, it decays and it crumbles. Now, mine didn't crumble, the last pair. It actually came away from the upper sole, so it could have been glued, but it really put me off, and I just thought, you know, maybe it's just a pair I'm going to admire, um, maybe get a, just a pair to, to look at. Um, but an opportunity came up on one of the Facebook pages, oh, just, my, just before my birthday, actually, for them. And what, is, what the difference is, it's still obviously the, the McVicker, the TRX McVicker as, as we know it, because uh, Roger Daltrey, of course, wore them in the, uh, the 1980, I think, prison film, uh, McVicker, and he wore the original uh, colourway from the, from the 70s. Um, but what had happened is, is somebody, well, I say somebody, Hello Soul, which is a trainer restoration page on Facebook, on Instagram. Um, what he'd done um, is put the actual lower sole of the TRX mesh. Now, I've seen this done before, and uh, I thought, you know, that's a good idea. But these had already been done. Somebody, the, the, the guy I bought them off had already sent them to Dave, uh, I think it is at Hello Soul. And he's put the, the lower sole from the TRX mesh, which came out a couple of years ago, in that McVicker colourway um, and he's put it onto the the nuts of the 2009 uh, and it actually you wouldn't know any different I mean obviously that's the same sole there um, but the sole itself on the original TRX 2009 identical colour and it goes really well so I can now wear these in confidence without worrying um, about them crumbling or coming away so I was delighted to get these and um, there we go, the upper sole's in great condition. Obviously a little bit of wear on the suede, you're gonna get that, but certainly for a pair that have already been worn, these are as good as anything. Got them for a decent price. And uh, uh, yeah, I was actually delighted, so I can't wait to get these on in the summer uh, or the spring. It's nice today actually, could probably get away with it, but certainly uh, once we get some warm weather. So I'm, I'm absolutely delighted to get these. It's a pair of, it's probably my all-time top three pair of Adidas uh, runners, trainers, the full trainer collection, I'd say. Um, but as I say, I've never been confident enough to, to wear them because of the sole. Um, and as I say, the, the brand new tag pair that I had a few years ago, I thought, well, I may cut the tags, put them on, and the sole may give way. And you were talking, you know, quite a few hundred pounds that I paid for those. So finally, third time lucky, maybe, I've got a pair I can wear. Um, so if you have got these, and you have got concerns over the sole, there's your option. The TRX mesh from a couple of years ago, you can pick these up maybe for about 80 quid and you can put them on there. Or as I say, go to Hello Soul. I think you can see there. Can you see? There he is. Hello Soul, trainer restoration, hello.soul. Um, and you'll find him on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, what a great job he, he did of those. And uh, he'll explain all you know what he does on his Instagram page. He, you know, he shows his workshop and everything. Fantastic. Um, does a really good job. He's real passionate about his Adidas trainers. So there we go. That was 
the TRX 2009 McVickers. Finally, I've got a pair I can wear, and that, that to me is what it's all about. Um, I've, I've gone past those days of just looking at, staring at trainers in a cabinet. I've got them on the shelf, as you can see, but those are all trainers I'm going to wear, or I have worn most of them already, and they'll all get worn at some point. Those tags will be coming off if they haven't already. So that's that. That was a TRX. Real nice birthday present to myself. Um, you've got to be good to yourself. So the second pair I've got, I've actually doubled up. Um, I've doubled up on these because... A, I've never had a pair of these brand new tagged, and these came up, and I just had to do it um, to get the right one. And it's the Kirkdale. I reviewed those in my uh, all-time top seven, I think I did. Special trainers, uh, fantastic runner. Come obviously with the, the spare laces, which I've never had before, which is the dark grey to match the uh, the suede. Um, tagged, fully tagged, brand new. Uh, they don't come up often. And I just had to get these because I've never had them brand new. Um, I'm on my second pair of used Kirkdale. I only, I only got these recently, actually. Funny enough, from the same seller I got the TRX from. Um, I only got these at the back end of last year, I think it was. Wore them a couple of times. Delighted because they're in absolute great nick. I mean, you can compare them to the brand new and, you know, you're hard pushed to sort of um, to see which is the new and which is the used. Um, but I just know these are, are going to probably be obsolete very soon. Came out in 2015, so we're coming up with certainly nine years. I think uh, spring, summer 15, these came out. And, uh, or was it winter? I can't remember. But anyway, they, they're such a comfortable runner. Uh, very popular, the Kirkdales. One of the classic Spezial runner. Great silhouette. Um, love the colours as well. Um, so yeah, so I've got the two. Two now. And that's my, my backup pair for when those wear out. I can wear those now, not worry too much, because I've got these Bobby Dazzlers, brand new, the Kirkdale Spezial, um, to wear when they when they when they uh, wear wear out and, and I've seen better days. But um, it, I must admit, I am very tempted to keep them like this because I think they'll be a a really rare. They're becoming more and more obsolete, as I say. They're quite difficult to get, and I think they're a classic. And maybe, maybe I'll keep them tagged, and because uh, I've got this wear a pair, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll just keep buying these used so I can keep these tagged. But they are a stunning trainer, and uh, I highly recommend them. True to size, the Kirkdale, um, and that was a real another birthday present to myself. Um, but I've, I've sold a couple of bits over the last few weeks, so I allowed it for for that. So yeah. Two Kirkdales, UK 10. Um, another thing I've done, um, which I said I'd never do, is I went and got another pair of Inverness. Uh, the Inverness I got in a 10. I thought true to size like the Carnforth, because it's a very similar silhouette, very similar style shoe. Um, this was obviously from the, the Autumn Winter 23 uh, line. But um, I needed a, a size up, a half size up, like the Winter Hill. Um, so I went 10 and a half. Not actually worn them properly yet, but I've had them on my feet and they're absolutely perfect. Perfect sizing, uh, 10 and a half. So if you have got the Inverness, and I've seen a lot of people doing the same thing, they've gone half a size up on those. Um, some people don't need to. It's just all about your feet, how you're designed, how you're made. Um, but those for me, I went 10, I went half a size up. Um, and one last thing. Um, I went to Rome for my birthday, which was very, very nice. Lovely weather, uh, lovely food. Um, but what I did do, uh, I like I don't I don't take a suitcase when I go away for a few days. I just take my hand luggage. So I don't take a lot of footwear, believe it or not. I take a pair that are on my feet, and I squeeze a pair in my in my suitcase. So these were on my feet pretty much every day, and we we, we covered some miles. You know, we really were walking um, a lot on the holiday. Um, so these are on my feet pretty much all the time. The moss crop too. Anyone who knows, anyone who has a pair will know from the moss crop one, the brown. These are now the moss crop two, the grey. How comfortable they are, and these are absolutely fantastic. I can't recommend these enough. They're so light, look good with any jeans. Um, I suppose they are a winter trainer, um, but you can wear them in all weathers. And these were a godsend uh, when I went to Rome. So yeah, I wore those every day. 
and I'll continue to wear those. So yeah, I highly recommend those if you haven't got a pair. True to size, the moss crop, the one on the two, the brown and the grey. Uh, if you can get hold of a pair, and this, they, they, you can get them, they're knocking about. Um, you won't be disappointed with those. So that's it. So that's my uh, latest update on uh, my McVickers, which I'm delighted with. Doubled up on my Kirkdales, got the Inverness of 10 and a half. Moss crop, I can't recommend them highly enough, the moss crop too. Um, I'll be doing another video very soon. I've added another really special grail pair, which uh, I've never had in my size. I've had them before. I had them tagged in a size, what didn't fit me, but I just wanted to own them. Couldn't justify it, sold them. Anyway, I'll be reviewing those in my next video over the next day or two, because uh, I'm dying to show those, and I'm dying to get those on my feet. Um, and one or two other little bits and pieces. So. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate everyone who's subscribing. Um, comment, please. Tell me about your Kirkdales. McVickers, if you've done the same as that, I'd really love to know. Um, and if you haven't, there you go. Hello Soul, he will restore them and make them wearable. And I can't wait to get them on. So till next time, guys and girls, uh, cheerio.